So we're going to be reviewing the BT100W. It's a battery tester, so this is going to be actually able to tell us if the battery is charged and needs to be replaced, what the cold cranking amps are. Uh, it'll tell us starting uh, battery voltage. It'll check the charging system, and it has another, it's, it's a test that's called system test. I'm not too sure what it is. I'm sure if you wanted to read all about it in here, you could, but this is very um, intuitive. So it's easy just to pick up and play with. We're going to be testing on my car and the battery that we use to jump everything at the shop. We'll see what my car's battery is at. We'll be able to test the starting, we'll be able to test the charging, and we'll be able to use my phone to show you the app and then when we test this battery, we'll just do the screen because got to make sure both works. First thing we're going to do is test my car. But first impressions on this thing, it's extremely lightweight. Um, doesn't feel like there's much to it. So it shouldn't need much, I guess, to actually test the battery. Um, but we're going to plug it in. It starts to uh, turn on once you have power hooked up to the ends check connection so it's not the greatest there we go so it tells you what the battery voltage was right away and then we're gonna go to my app and yep so it's automatically connected which was really fast actually um, so the reason why you would like want this is so that you can actually test everything in the car so I'm gonna go into the car and we'll leave this here that way I can show you how it would be if you were by yourself. That way you don't need a buddy to do the extra parts of the testing. All right, so over here we're gonna do the battery test first, which doesn't have to turn on the car. It gives you, you know, a little description of what it is up there. We'll just hit next. And then the one thing that I do not like about this is, you know, say we wanted to select a different thing than regular flooded. The arrow doesn't work. But if you click where the words are, then you can actually change it. So minor thing, you know, first world problems, but um, you know, we have our cold cranking amps. It has a bit many others that you can choose from even regular cranking amps. And then when you select it, you come down here and you enter how many cold cranking amps your battery has. And then you'll test it. And it'll give you a little readout of what the battery is. So here, uh, battery needs to be replaced, regular flooded. Its uh, state of health is 48%, 347 cold cranking amps. Battery voltage is 12.66, which is actually good for the state of charge because um, 12.6 is a fully charged battery. Um, it gives you internal resistance. I actually don't really pay attention to that because it's not something that we really need, but this is a big thing. Um, it being my car, I'll probably ride it out until I have to push start it or something. But now we'll do the uh, cranking test, or starting test. Gives you another description of what it is. So th this is the part where it's actually nice to have the app version or the wireless version, because you actually don't have to be over with the controller to manually enter all of this stuff. And then you would just come here you know, turn off all electronics, start vehicle. Next, it tells you, and then confirm, and then start the vehicle. Which is nice when it actually tells you the process it needs to do it properly. So, confirm. And then, low cranking voltage, which makes sense with a battery that is going to be needed to be replaced. Cranking time, you know, 328 milliseconds or 0.3 seconds. So it didn't take long to actually start, um, but the voltage dropped to 8.22, which is far lower than what it should be. Um, you wanna be somewhere, you know, close, the closer you are to 10, the better the battery is. And then the save share, you can actually save a picture of this to your phone. In sharing, I'm guessing, yeah, you can do, you know, Facebook stuff or any other crap. So then the next one would be this charging test. Start vehicle, turn off all electronics, and then turn on electronics. So I actually didn't turn anything off for the cranking. 
but turn off all electronics, then start the vehicle. Press confirm. Off, off. All that's off, confirm. Current voltage is 12.3. Oh. It's wondering why it was at 12.3 because it thought the car was started. So now it's running, it knows it's running. So we go to next, increase to 2,500 RPM and hold it and then press confirm. Next, turn on all the electronics, headlights and everything. It doesn't say 2,500, so I'm gonna leave it at idle. Um, FM, AC's on, confirm. Everything is great. It even has the same voltage with it uh, either loaded or not loaded, which is amazing. Um, yeah, so charging system is good. Uh, we're gonna move on. I don't know what system test is. We'll just see what it is. So battery test, oh, so it's just everything in one. Okay, so there's a system test, which does the whole process and I'm sure runs through everything that all three of those were, it's just one run. Um, but, I mean, I, I believe it. It seems like a really good tester. Uh, the cranking amps, like I've, I've known for a little bit that it seems, it sounds a little slower than what it probably was before. Um, but it's hard to go off of ears for battery voltage when trying to tell a customer or even your wife that you need a new battery and that's actually the problem. All right, so our last test is gonna be testing the battery that we use to jump everything around here. So we're just gonna hook it up, get going on the test. So we're gonna do the battery test on here because we don't have cranking or charging or any of that other stuff. Enter, it is an AGM. We're gonna do cold cranking amps and I already had it at 720, but it does 15, or I mean five intervals. So you'll have to just run from wherever it starts to the next battery you're going to be testing. We'll see what this battery runs up to be. And it says good, needs charging. And that makes sense because we don't charge it. We just jump the next car we can with it. Um, but yeah, 839 cold cranking amps. 12.3 volts, which like I said, is low compared to what it should be. Um, internal resistance is actually much less than what um, mine was, which, you know, that also mine would have read bad here. And I like that they have the little lights here. That way it gives you kind of a, you know, good charging. What does that mean? It means charge the battery, but it's good. Bad is red and good is green. Um, and then as for the rest of it, you know, exit, I'm guessing, yeah, that's probably another menu thing, what M means. Review data, you can see, yeah, that's the last test. Yeah, this thing works really good for what would be a $70 battery tester. Um, so if you haven't priced out battery testers that can do similar stuff to this or like what they would use at a shop to try to sell you a battery, those testers are $600 and up easily. Um, you know, they have the little printout, but they do essentially the same thing. And with this one, with the app, the wireless version, not the one that doesn't have the wireless because you ain't going to get the app. Um, this one, the app has the, you know, same little uh, readout that, they, that you would get printed on a little piece of paper. Um, it does everything like I've actually not noticed that some of those have uh, the resistance in there. Um, pardon, we are a working shop, so gonna have to deal with some noise um, but all in all for $70 this is a worthwhile battery tester you're gonna get more than 
more than you need and my only guess is that you'll be able to at, at actually tell if you need a battery or not before you have to drive to some shop to try to have them you know hike up a battery price for you i'd say it's a good buy i know they have a lot of other stuff that they offer so i'm gonna look at some of the stuff that top don has and if they're kind they'll let us review other things of theirs this one gets a thumbs up and we're going to be using it around the shop for a long time <laughs>